one of your recent um, stage performance was at Nana Ares um, yeah, book Nana launch. Yes. 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 How do you feel being on that stage? Yeah, that stage was it was I, I was initially scared of mounting that stage because I didn't know the audience. I, I, I thought it was it would be youthful but I got there it was grown people, you know, people middle aged people, um, fifty years and above. So I had to reconstruct my jokes to suit them. Hello. This how you're doing. You are fine, thank you. Um, my name is Obi. I'm a comedian and uh, I'm a, um, a doctor too. Yeah, thank you very much. So I'm going to do my version of the S&P. You know. It's good to be here. Um, I miss people who read other books apart from Facebook. I'm so glad to be part of you guys. I didn't know how to dress, you know. I didn't know, so I just picked some stuff and then I walk. But I know you ladies, you dress. A round of applause for all ladies here. Yeah. And real quick, real quick, how many of you ladies here were waist trainers? <laughs> waist trainers, you know, La Paz girls call it bulletproof vest, but I'm not here for La Paz girls, I'm here for you, you. So how many of you wear waist trainers? Waist trainers, please show my hand. Why, why do you wear it? Why, earlier you had a lady, you had a lady and you feel all the muscles that comes with womanhood, flesh to bone, but now it's changed. You hug a lady, it's like you are hugging your laptop back. <laughs> I don't understand. And you know, earlier you would play with the lady, you would sneak up on her and take her, and, 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 and. you can't do that anymore, you break your index finger. <laughs> what is it? I mean, I don't get it. And some of you, they make up, man. Now you can't sneak up on you and play tricks on you. You live and our hand is full of paint. Oh. It's fraud. It's fraud. I think we can see all the people who were who were always trainers, you know. And uh, it was amazing. The response from them was amazing. I mean, KSM was there. Um, Bridget O2, a few people I knew were there, and then so I had to do my best. I love my job, especially when I meet old patients. Old patients, you are man. If any of you here, yeah, 50 years and above, you are wonderful, man. Especially those of you who work at the district assemblies. Hey, you people can lie. You can ask them how they are saying, Doctor, how they are saying, how they are how they are tell me. Because they know they are lying about their age. When you ask them their age, they want to lie more. You know, some of them give it to you like you've asked them for lots of numbers. Mr. I, how old are you? So, from 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Strike your average. I'm like, wow! And some of them give it to you like it's a journey they are going through. Mr. I, how old are you? Oh, say, see, I had it. Meaning I'm 45. Me, you got 50. And you're not 60. And then you're And some of them give you options to choose from. That's what one thing I don't understand. Options. Like, Mr. I, how old are you? Not up at the end. And the president saying, oh, say your wall, real age. And your wall buying there. Oh, real age, 66, I'm buying 44. Wow. Can you give us one of the jokes you said on the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <clears throat> I, was, I was relating to myself. Like, uh, white people, white people would, uh, a white kid sick would go to the mom, like, mommy, 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 I have a headache. And the mom would be like, oh my God. Oh my god, my baby has a headache. Oh my god, you could die. Oh my god. She goes to Google and types pa, 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 signs of a headache. And then it comes long list. Oh my god, my baby could have cancer. You know that thing. But in Ghana, you have a headache. Me, I have a headache. I go to my mom, ma, ma, me, tia, me. I won't be like, with your, yeah. <laughs> and also, your one. One me. And I would not have to dance. Come, And amazingly, I'll go and, me, and come. And I'm fine. And and then they had this, um, you know, Bentua. <laughs> Bentua. Anytime you complain of a stomach, you're like, Butua, oh, pa, and then you'll be fine. So that was one of the jokes I shared on the night. Eh? And people people could really relate to it. It's amazing, you know, but, but most of us have motivations. You know, uh, motivations, I was motivated by my mom to be a doctor, of course, not the comedy part. The comedy part is my dad, not. <laughs> My mom motivated me to be a doctor. How many of you have parents in the house 
who were doctors in the house. They never went to the medical school, but they would attend to you. Yeah, Ghanaian parents, a round of applause for them, our moms. Look, unlike a white setting, the white people go to them, mommy, mommy, I have a headache. The mom be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my baby has a headache, oh my god, it could be evil, it could be sad. She goes to Google, pa 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 pa, signs of headache, pa pa pa, hey my god, it's asthma, oh my god. And then she picks phone calls, 911, ambulance comes to pick the kid to the hospital. Headache. Come to my house, I have a headache, I go to my mama, ma, me tear me, I want to put you here. And I want it. Only it. And I want to connect. And amazingly, I go and lay and come and I'm fine. A round of applause for moms, man. Wonderful people. <laughs> yeah, so th those were the few jokes I told then. It was, it was, it was good. It was a nice um, 10 minutes I had on that stage. I'm, I'm very grateful to Nana Red Amwa for having me there. Yeah. I always introduce myself to ladies like, hey, my name is Obi. I'm an eye doctor. But I don't know Ghanaian ladies. Anytime you tell them you're a doctor, that is when they forget about the date you guys have gone and they break their medical history. Like, oh, you're a doctor? Oh, my eye. See, see it has been itching. And they start, and they bring my mommy to her eyes. So, like, really, it's a date, man. It's, so I've changed. You ask me, what do you do? I say, oh, my name is Obi. I'm a gynecologist. Any problem? You don't have any problem? No problem? Okay, let's go.